Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens. Terrorist acts. The victims were of airplanes, or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen, women, military, and federal workers, mobs and bands, friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, human structures collapsing. Have filled us with disbelief, terrible sadness, and a quiet, unyielding anger. These acts of mass uh, Gunner Sergeant Michael Lawrence, right? All right, September 11th. Um, Jeez, I was in uh, on recruiting duty in Detroit, Michigan, and um, the first I heard of the uh, towers being attacked was from the Army recruiter next door. He was a friend of mine, and come come walking in, and he said, he, you know, the, uh, the towers had just been attacked by terrorists, and he was instructed to close his office and go home. We were crowded in the we had this little back cubicle office in the back, and we were watching. Uh, Watching the news tentatively, you know, watching, paying it, you know, real close. And um, uh, our supervisor came out and he said, he said, uh, our nation's been attacked. He said, your job has never meant more than it does today. You know, uh, call your families, tell them you're going to be home late. Uh, the president and the people of the United States are going to need more Marines. Uh, early in the day, I was at work at uh, Headquarters Marine Corps C4, which is in the uh, the Navy Annex. It's across the street from Henderson Hall and just up the hill from the Pentagon. The uh, it was a loud noise. I guess it was when the plane flew over because we were on the Pentagon side. You know, I had people coming up to me after the fact that knew that I was there, and you know, oh, you're a hero, this and that, wanting to buy me my wife and I dinner at restaurants and things, and I'm like. And, uh, yeah, we're not the heroes. So the heroes are the families that, you know, are going to have to continue on after this. You know what I'm saying? The, the wives that have lost husbands, the kids that lost a parent, those to me were the heroes at the time. We were just, you know, Marines doing our job. David De La Rosa, uh, retired uh, detective with the New York City Police Department. It, it impacted me personally because I was a member of the police department. Uh, I had quite a few uh, friends that responded to the scene and two very close personal friends of mine that were killed in the event. I think it's on the mind of, of everybody. It's something um, that just hasn't gone away. Um, it, it, was, it was very traumatic. It was, it was a huge event. Um, being from New York, being involved in, in the way I was involved in it, I, I know that I'll never forget and all of my friends, we, we talk about it, that you should never forget those events. Always remember what happened and the lives that were lost. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America.